Nigeria Elections, Prophet Oluja bin Noxabasanjo and Fig Preachers. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. Prophet B.C. Olujobi has condemned the comments of ex-president Oluchabo Basenjo and some clerics regarding the 2023 election in Nigeria. The General Overseer of Wisdom Church of Christ International in Kitu, Lagos, described Abasanjo as an architect of confusion. In a statement on Saturday, he predicted that a former head of state would soon meet his waterloo spiritually and physically. The retired general supporter of the presidential candidate of the Labour Party, LP, Peter B, against the president-elect but attainable of the All Progressive Congress, APC. Olujabi said instead of being an elder statesman and stabilizer, Obasanjo has been playing famous roles that eat up the nation's quality. The man is evil with negative agenda for this country. We are watching how he will end his journey. The supporter general noted. He cautioned ex-presidential advisor Chukwe Mekizi from Labour Party LP governorship candidate in Lagos, but the board was vivo against divisive comment. The statement will further warn fake preachers who pose a threat to the peaceful transition of the incoming government. Oluyaba advised Nigeria to shun uncultured pulpit hackers, trying to plunge the nation into war with hate and fake gospel. The tool of destruction. They will not run away with the nation start boiling. Fake prophecies characterize the general election, he added. Oh God, please, respectfully, sir, please go and sit down. This is not what you're coming out to, you're supposed to be coming out to be saying. Where were you? Where were all these people when people were being treated like animals? When people were being brutalized just because of the elections? Where people are being shot at? Where were you? Where people are being threatened? Where were you? I'm not talking about people who are non-Nigerians. I'm talking about people who are Nigerians. This kind of thing, now this kind of thing, if you hear, I would, you would be very, very pissed off and angry. For goodness sake, you lost your voice and suddenly found it. Oh God, please respectfully, sir, please go and sit down. You don't know what you're saying, sir. No, it's painful. Do you know how, do you know, do you know what, do you know what you're saying? If you're not predicating in the country, never, what are you, what are you saying? You, where did they talk? Where did they talk? Say, other people are fake. What about you? Did God really call you? Or your belly call you? No, it is, it is, it is, it is saddening when people come. You close your mouth to things that you're supposed to talk about. And then you come outside. And then you're saying things. Oga, respectfully, go sit down. If you cannot come out and condemn what happened in the elections, most especially, I will keep saying it, the election that brought about the president-elect, how it was not in any way normal. It is abnormal. No country should rule that election as normal. Then secondly, the kind of chaos we had in the um, what's it called in the governorship election? Please, forever, do not come outside to come and say they should accept whatever. Just please carry it as you are ignoring it. Please let your ear continue to be. Let it, let your ear do not hear anything concerning it. You have no right, in fact, to come outside and start saying eh, these people is this. See, prophet, fake prophet. They call other people fake prophet. <laughs> Guess who they call Quest Black? Guess who they call in, in, in I mean Pots Black. Can you imagine? These people, they will not talk when they are supposed to talk. And then to end favor, you will see them opening their mouth to start vomiting things like, what do what you think they will call safe? No jokes. See, eh? If anything like me, I'm an opportunity to be on that seat. If you, if you get things where they go to ban, you go to, you know go to talk in here. If you man not go, you say no go feel come outside, come talk, as in, can't talk when you're supposed to talk. If you are selective, it is you will not be able to. I'm telling you. Imagine what the so-called man of God is telling the congregation. My dear, imagine. Instead of praying against injustice in this country, tomorrow he'll be telling his members, God will fight their battle. Now him now. Now this kind, God will fight your battle. See, now then God always tell people, be say, permit me to use the word. Then go once they will, what cowards will say, God will fight your battle. This thing is not a matter of God will fight your battle. In this country, there are things that we do we will do by ourselves and God will not come down. I don't know if you understand. I'm not saying God will not, but we have to. People don't press your neck, press your neck, strangulate you. In order for you not to die, you have to fight back. These people will close their mouth. Where was he when all the threats were being cut? Maybe he 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 you know he be Kogbo, Koderi. The same way he did not see, the same way he's playing deaf and dumb. 
please let him continue. Don't even come, don't even come and don't, man, don't come familiarize. Say one, well, you won't say yourself, may they see you. Just carry your mouth like this as you use clothes and carry on the go front. Huh? Huh? Because he did not say the election was rigged against a P2B attacking. This is not a matter of not even the election was rigged. What about people that died? Did you come out to condemn it? I'm not saying, okay, fine. If you're not even going to come out to say, okay, the death of the second one. For goodness sakes, people died. Not talking about it and coming out to say that you are, it is spitting on those people's faces. You do not come out to say anything. All of a sudden, you now found your voice to come out to say you are hating up the polity. You get what I want to talk about. <laughs> if I talk, I'm... <laughs> you know, go do funny. This laughter is not a laughter of pleasure. It's a laughter of pain. For goodness sakes, for the first time, you know, no siam, people came out. People were ready to die for that election because they have had it to hear. A lot of people. And then you come, they come out, and then you disenfranchise, you, you, you disenfranchise them. And you had the guts not to say anything. And then all of a sudden, your brain just boots. You can't come outside the fake party. That I beg or God respectfully. Go and sit down. Huh? This prophet is also a political confessionist. Exactly. Waiting in color up if nine be. Instead of joining the coalition to pray for Nigeria, is 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 business place sent I'm telling you. Had he been he was even coming out to say, okay, make him. Um, they come outside. Don't even talk anything about, you know, these people or these people. Come as I come pray. If you don't say no go fit talk, if you don't say fear they catch you, make them no go close down your church. I beg. Close your mouth. Just pray. Huh? Huh. Okay. Which prayer? Someone is telling the gospel to let all concerns. Let's all concern listen if they have listened. What's which gospel truth? Any so called truth that does not address the shame and wickedness of the APC regarding the past election. It's a better gospel. God will bless you. You just did it, you made them notice you. At the end of the day, now where you did, now you go see the respectfully. Nobody will notice you. Anyway, you get everything they give me joy. And that thing I say, everybody go see Everybody go give account. When you reach there, you go give account of how you did partisan. Then you go know. You go what's safe for you as you call yourself a man of God. All right. Obasanjo was described as an architect of confusion. You hear that? I hope the obese to be there listening to the man of which man of God, which man of God, that Obasanjo stood up, that Obasanjo had, had done things that are unspeakable, that they were despicable, despicable in the past, and he realized that Omo, oh, this country must not continue, must not continue to go down on this path, and he decides to stand up and do something about. Permit me to use the word redemption. He don't come as I see, waiting in to know the okay. And he's supporting what is supposed to be right for the country. That is what makes him. That is what makes him what a Confucianist. No wahala. Everybody will come and say they talk this thing. My only thing be say, I don't pray make anything happen. No. But if anything happen, it could go round. Nobody will be spared. She been everybody now in the chop from the Buari also. No wahala. Ha ha. He don't forget. He na never even cut each chop and finish. He still there. The crumbs still there. He go clear now. He go most chop and clear plates. I am hoping for the best, but if it does not happen, I just want to let us know that it's going to go wrong, and that is why a lot of people are not want. They don't want it, but this one they give them, they tell and say they must chop up. All right, on this note, we have come to the end of the note. News, we say thank you for tuning in to listen.